So the app that I will be working with today is called Puppet EDU. Um, it's the blue bunny right here. So you click on the app. Um, I feel like this app is centered for more elementary school students. And I feel that it's great for English, like if you want to teach children about literacy skills and writing and things like that. So to start off with, you have your icons at the bottom. Um, you have my puppets with the house and then you have ideas and you can click on ideas and it just gives you um, little inspirational ideas for if you want to write about what's going on in the news and um, history or life on earth you can scroll over it and it has different topics that you could talk about so I'm gonna click on my puppets the home button again and um, it also gives you samples of other stories that have been created just so you can get some more inspiration if you want to so I'm gonna click on create new and then I'm going to choose my camera roll. So my um, theme will be about dogs because I'm obsessed with my puppies. So I just choose the pictures that I want from my camera roll. And then over here, before I click next, I want to show you these options over here on the left side. So you have map search and you can get um, different uh, pictures from the map. Um, you also have famous landmarks around the world um, you have educational searches such as library of congress um, you have museum of art the british library things like that you could also pull images from Flickr or um, wikimedia if you would like um, you could choose different backgrounds that are already in the app like if you wanted a yellow background for instance or a paper paper material background or purple things like that you could also pull images from your photos like i showed you before or if you have a social media that you would like to use for photos, I feel that that would be a great way to pull more photos. So I'm going to click next. And here is my story so far. And if you use the arrow, you can go through and look at all your different images. And I'm going to go back with the arrow on the left. And so for the first page, I, if you want to add text, you click the T right here, and then I'll put dogs. And so it'll have it typed out for you. Um, you can fade in and out with that. Uh, you can change the font. So if I want it to be that, I could change it to that. And it, gives, it just gives you different options, but I'm going to go back to the first one because I really like that one. Um, and then you can change the color right here with the little drop um, right now it's white so if I want to change it to black I just click it if I want to change it to a different color, color you click it again and so on and so forth but I'm gonna keep it white so I'm gonna keep clicking until I get to the white one again um, and then if you want to change the position of the text you can just tap the ABC button and it'll put it to the left corner at the bottom or the right corner at the bottom left corner at the top right corner at the top or you can keep it centered which is what I'm gonna do and then you can click AA and it'll make it smaller or larger so that's really tiny tiny but I'm gonna keep it big like that so you just keep keep clicking it until you get it to the size that you want it to be so then I'm gonna click the check box because this one's all set for me and then you click the arrow to the next one. Now, when the pictures aren't positioned the way you want, you can zoom out. I just zoomed out with my finger because you can zoom in and out easily. But you could also use the add and minus arrow in the corner. And so I'm going to add some text to this one. I'm going to say Bria's first dog, period. And this is a great way to teach your students sentence structure. So capitalization, periods at the end of the sentences, things like that. Um, and then I already told you about the fonts. Now, if you want to fade in and out, you can. Or you can just fade in. You can spin it in. You can zoom in. Zoom and spin. Fancy. But I'm just going to keep it at fade in and out. And so you click the check mark. And then if you want, you could add music 
So you can use music from your iTunes library or you can use background music. So you just click on it and then choose the type of music you want to use and then click use. But I'm not going to use music on my video. I just want to show you all that feature. So I'm going to click the exit button if I choose not to use any music. And then I'm going to go to the next picture. And again, like I said, you can zoom in and out. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go back to this one and I'm going to add a text to it. So that's another feature that I really like is you can go back and forth and cha make changes as you go through if you do or don't like things, if you want to add or take things out. So I'm going to add text to this one. And so then you just add the text. And then I'm going to go to the next one. I'm not going to add text to that one. I'm going to add text to this one. Okay, and then I'm going to change the color. And I'm going to change the font. And click add. And then there's another picture of me and my dog. And so once you get to the last picture, there will be no more arrows on the right. So then you can go back to the beginning just to preview your story. And then you'll start recording. Here at the bottom, you can add voiceovers. And so I'm going to start by recording my voice. Dogs. Bria's first dog. My dog name, Nala. This is the love of my life. His name is Ziggy. And then you'll stop that and you'll press save. And the document is saving now. And if you want to go back, you can press undo if you would like. It's taking a little longer than I thought. And we're going to go back. Um, I don't want to start over. I'm having a few technical difficulties. I'm not sure if it's just my connection. But that's just the gist of it. Um, I really like this app because it's user-friendly for kids. Um, they can create stories with this app. Like I said, it's great for literacy. It's great for if you want to teach your students how to create sentences and add pictures and things like that. And so here is my story right here. You can go back through and reorder them the way you want to. So if I want to move this one over here, I can. If I want to move this one around, I can. 
and I really like this app like I said it's easy um, there's nothing that's inappropriate on this app um, and I feel that teachers could really implement this in their future classrooms I really enjoyed working with this and I feel that students would enjoy working with it hands-on. It's a fun way to get them involved in learning about literacy. And I know that I will use something along these lines in my future classrooms. Thank you for listening.